Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bush Gardens, and this week I'm finally building a roller coaster. But before I talk more about that, um, thanks to all the new subscribers, of course. And if you saw the last episode, then you would see that I have a Discord channel, and uh, so I'll put the link again down below. And if you want to come and join me and talk about um, the park, your parks, what I'm building, help with inspiration ideas, or if you need inspirational ideas, we can post pictures and talk about projects and things. And I'm just there. For us to just kind of have a, a small community that uh, talk about, uh, you know, what I'm doing. I don't want to clog up other people's uh, chats and discords with my projects. So I thought I'd start my own. And so come and join me. It'd be really fun. And uh, yeah, so I'm now uh, on some good Wi-Fi. I haven't been able to uh, post recently due to very bad Wi-Fi in hotels. But I'm back home briefly and uh, I can actually do a video and not worry about it it taking nine hours to upload onto YouTube. So back to what I'm doing, I decided to do a wooden coaster for the Bavarian area and uh, I didn't want to go too outlandish. I wanted to do something kind of maybe family sized. And in my head, I had Heidi the ride from uh, Plops de Panna in, um, I think it's in Belgium. And uh, that was kind of the idea in my head for this one, quite a small wooden coaster, just kind of out and back, quite simple. and. Um, so that's kind of what I've gone for, so it's not majorly too big. And of course, um, Busch Gardens Williamsburg has Invader, which is the their GCI coaster. And Busch Gardens obviously had Guazi in the past, um, which has been closed for a long time, but will be RMC'd, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, so, I've, you know, this kind of fits in with the Busch Gardens theme that I'm going for. Um, like I said, I don't want to build any coasters that wouldn't appear at a Busch Gardens park. So I'm not going to have... Um, you know, let me think of something off the top of my head right now. Uh, for instance, a stand-up coaster, because none of the Busch Gardens parks have a stand-up coaster. But they both have multi-launch coasters, a wooden coaster, a sky rocket, um, an invert, you know, like Alpengeist and Montu. They both have a dive coaster, Sheikra and Griffin. So I'm going to follow that kind of pattern with the park. And so I think this fits in with the pattern. And uh, I just wanted to do something quite small here for the Bavarian area. And as I said in the last episode, I actually built a much bigger wooden coaster, which had a really cool layout, um, but it didn't fit into what I was doing, unfortunately. So I've now downsized and gone with something smaller. But I really want to kind of build some nice buildings with this one. So that's kind of what I'm going to do in the rest of this video, starting here with the station for the ride. And I'm just looking at pictures here that I have researched online and I'm just playing around with different shapes and things and just trying to figure out what kind of looks best and what looks the most kind of German Bavarian and uh, I'm going to play around with colours a little bit because I don't want to have too much brown going on um, I kind of seem to just always use different shades of browns when using different woods and stuff so I'm going to kind of change that up so I can use a bit of like a dark red wood here and uh, basically just going to plop things down, see what looks best and just kind of follow the pictures I found on Google as a guideline to uh, what I'm doing. Um, I've said this in the past, I always look for reference. I'm not great at building things off the top of my head. And if I have some reference photos, um, things go a lot easier for me. Uh, so this is kind of, um, you know, I don't want to say that these buildings come off the top of my head because I do use inspiration and I'm not ashamed to say I use inspiration because without inspiration, I wouldn't be able to build the things I build. So yeah, I'm just playing around here. And um, this, I just wanted to be quite an open, building but still have it look like a solid building because it's a station so I want to have some you know big gaps in there which I'm doing and I'm just laying down different pieces of wood um, and trying to do some angles and things just to kind of give it that kind of not so asymmetrical look. But uh, so this will have the station there'll be a building next to it where the entrance of the ride will be and then I'm going to figure out somehow how to do a transfer track um, so I should do that all in this video as well uh, I don't like how close the station is to the car park so that I've that I've noticed um, and I try and kind of cover that somehow I don't think it's too much of a problem I can maybe put some trees there or something um, but it is a little bit too close for my liking but this is just how it kind of fitted in I didn't want the coaster to be too distant from the area and I didn't want to bring the coaster further over I think then because then the coaster intruded on the entrance plaza so I've kind of just had to keep it where it is but I'm gonna make it work somehow and uh, 
yeah, this is kind of like the back of this area now. So um, this is kind of the, the, the size of the Bavarian area is now kind of solid and it's down. I just need to fill in the gaps and tie up all the details and carry on with the theme. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, I never like to go straight in with a roller coaster when building a park like this. I'll always like to kind of figure out what I'm doing first. And it takes me a while before I do my first coaster. That's why this is episode, what is it, seven or something. And that's why this is my first coaster now because I don't like to just plot a coaster down because maybe it's not quite in the right place. And so far I've kind of figured out the car park, the entrance plaza area. And once I kind of started doing this, this uh, zone of the park, I've now realized where the coaster can kind of fit in and I've got a vision now in my head how the rest of the park will kind of flow around it although I did get stuck again after this I must say um, but I did have a couple ideas in my head I just had to execute them well and that's what I wasn't doing um, but yeah so on to this, uh, this next small building here um, again using a picture from Google uh, I'm just kind of going to try and change the colors here so instead of using browns and reds I'm going to go in with like a, a teal color and kind of decorate it that way and just play around with pieces and see what looks best. I must say this building I wasn't liking it at all as I was building it and the more I added to it the kind of better it got and so I kind of by the end I liked it but it took me a while to for this one to turn out well and it grew on me so I just really wanted to have this kind of line of buildings in front of the wooden coaster which, which again is kind of very similar to Heidi the ride um, which also has a kind of a big uh, facade of buildings in front of the coaster so that's something I just wanted to kind of include make this area look kind of more homely or more I don't know I don't want to look like it's just a random roller coaster plopped down in this area I really wanted to tie it in with the rest of the area make it really a part of it and uh, make it really just kind of you know tie in and I don't want to over theme it because I feel like the coasters at Bush Gardens aren't like crazily themed they just kind of have like a slight theme uh, I mean the coasters more recently like Cobra's Curse have been really themed which are really cool and I guess Montu is quite themed as well but um, they're not really I think about like Kumbo and Shikra and I mean the stations are themed and they have a couple of elements like a few tunnels and things but the whole ride itself isn't completely um, immersed in theming uh, if I compare it to rides like Taron at Fantasia Land, I mean that ride's themed beginning to end and that's what the coasters aren't really doing at Bush Gardens so I don't want to over theme the coasters I just want to have a little touch of theme here and there and I think that's kind of the trick maybe to this park with some of the rides. So I haven't really got much else to say about this week's episode so I'm just going to let you sit back and enjoy what I'm building. You know I do the basic kind of things you'd find a transfer track like I said I put some flags and details I build a few tunnels that kind of thing and uh, yeah just enjoy me watching thanks for watching and uh, stick around to the end I've just put a little screenshot there of what I did and uh, subscribe if you haven't already we really appreciate it and I'll see you next week for another episode of Bush Gardens until then bye
Thank you.